if you can maybe put in your 10,000 hours and write, let's say, maybe tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of lines of code in at least two fairly complex languages. So this, in this case, let's say Java would be one, and then another could be C Sharp. If you can do this, then you're on your way to being able to become a generalist, a PL generalist. And the reason for that, in my mind, and keep in mind, I, I've been writing code for a long time. Uh, I think I wrote my first basic program when I was maybe like 10 years old, which uh, was 1985, so 40 years ago. And since then, I've graduated from basic. Not No disrespect to basic. Basic is, uh, oh, you know, it's, it's basic. But actually, as, as an interesting factoid, my first attempt of writing Nautica, I mean, this is before I actually knew how to code at all, because I was in the self-taught uh, phase. I tried to write it in QBasic. And I was learning simultaneously. I was teaching myself QBasic and C at the time. And this was... Let me try to figure out the year here. This is like 1992-ish, something like this. Yeah, it's before I did my undergrad, which I think I started in 1994. So 1992, <coughs> we had the internet, but it not really. Like, there's no Stack Overflow. There's no... Maybe Google existed, but people weren't really using it you didn't really have browsers per se, at least not the way that we have them today. You kind of just had web crawlers. Um, yeah, that's more of, I think, what we had. So the, the takeaway is I didn't really have the internet as my resource to tell me, hey, Goju, you shouldn't try to write your large-scale software system in uh, QBasic. 